I would like to welcome you all in the third part of question paper discussion for the subject renewable energy sources. In the previous two sessions, I have covered almost 80% of the questions uh, which, which are asked in the year of June, July 2023. Let us finish it off remain, remaining portion. So this is the front page of question. You can see the question code. It's applicable for first year students and uh, maybe a higher semester students also you can use it based upon the syllabus. Yeah. Everybody kindly go through the question number 8A. So what is the question number 8A? Yeah. Uh, what uh, with an each case explain double basin tidal system. So in the previous session, we discussed about single basin tidal system. It's applicable only during the high tide. If I go for like a low tide, uh, high tide and low tide, at the both the time I can generate uh, the uh, electrical power. So that's the speciality of double basin arrangement. So upper basin and lower basin, you can see like the high pole and the low, low pole. There is always a uh, head better than upper and lower basin. That is the advantage. Okay. How the double basin operates in this fashion. You can see the control valve that is also known as Lewis gate, then movement of uh, counter current or uh, water current. Then there is an upper upper basin. This is your lower basin. In between, you are going to keep the, the turbine, turbine generator set. This is the way how does it work. Okay, the movement of uh, like uh, water movement that will operate the turbine, turbine is coupled to the generator, definitely uh, that will produce electricity. It's applicable for like uh, two segments, one is upper upper and lower side, okay, upper basin and lower side, basin, there is a specularity. So, um, figure with the suitable explanation, scientific explanation is preferred, okay, so definitely you will be getting full credit. If you go for like the scientific explanation with a proper figure like this, Okay, this is one of the best one of the good answer key. You can refer this. Question number 8b. Explain the cloud cycle of ocean thermal energy conversion scheme. So, I request you to draw the particular block diagram. Okay, later you can give the explanation. For example, once you can see like the warm surface of water, then it fits to um, then the reactor, uh, then uh, non-condensatable ga uh, glass uh, like uh, gases. Similarly, whatever the things which are obtained that is going to fed to the turbine, then turbine coupled with generator, then there is a condenser. Okay, these are the, uh, the cyclic process. This is called a cloud cycle. Okay. Next is uh, with a no with a not on energy utilization, ocean thermal energy is conversion. Okay. Uh, energy utilization in OTAC flow chart is preferred, then OTAC plant should be less than uh, 30 kilometers away from the shore. Uh, then generally electricity can be used in decomposed seawater. Okay, these are the few important points. Likewise, whatever you are getting, you can update. Question number AC is cleared. Okay, question number uh, 9A. Explain the working principle of alkaline fuel cell with a neat, neat diagram. Okay. Okay, fine. So what you can do is, uh, you can elaborate in this fashion, look at this. So you have to mention about anode, cathode, electrolyte, external load, you can mention working principle and the, working principle and the alkaline fuel cell. Then uh, like electrolyte, which is anode, which is cathode, which is electrolyte, what is exactly happening in electrolyte, what is the overall reaction, everything you have to uh, keep, in, keep in your mind. This is most important question, okay. Question number 9b, explain the electrolytic production used for hydrogen generation using chemical reaction uh, undergoing. Okay, question number 9b. Here is electrolysis. So you have to write the separate relation. Okay, so um, the anodic reaction, cathodic reaction, definitely go for the overall reaction. Okay, so this is regarding uh, question number 9b. Question number 10a, explain the working principle of Molten car uh, carbonate fuel cell. So this is another structure, but here you can see the electrolyte is different. Uh, uh, like the anode, cathode, everything is getting different. You can check it up and draw the diagram once or twice. Okay, M material you identify. So we can proceed the uh, e two equations. Later you can build up the remaining equations. Okay, so this is regarding uh, uh, the molten carbon fuel cell. Then last question is explain the method of storing hydrogen energy. Hydrogen energy storage, that's most important. Okay, so I'll give some methods. We can go through that. Hydrogen energy storage. So there are so many methods available. Okay, so 
whichever more comfortable you can read first because that's most important clearing the exam is most important okay so that's all if you are watching our channel first time i request you to subscribe if our video contents are useful kindly share with others thank you very much for, for watching our uh, video if you have any questions kindly put up in the comment box have a great learning okay thank you